it all comes down to this. Over the course of the last eight months and one week exactly, to this day specifically, I have played The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom every single day. Every day since release, and I've had a great time. I've slain all of the bosses. I've accumulated all of the armor. I've done all of the quests. Not all the Koroks, but hey. Yeah, ha, ha. Anyways, all of that comes to a head today, where we assault Ganondorf. We have but one light route left to uncover, and as I understand it, it's down here. Oh my goodness, the Hyrule Castle Chasm. Oh, buddy. Oh, there it is. That's my light route, right? Is that it? Wait, that's a different light route? Off? No, that that's the one. That's the one. We're just we're just facing a different way. <laughs> well, let's go get this light route and turn that on, and then we will be completely done with all of the game's warp points. All the shrines, all the light routes finally completed on episode 252. We spent yesterday accumulating all sorts of resources that'll help aid in this fight. And goodness me, I hope that we're going to be all right. I'd have to imagine. I mean, hard to, hard to imagine that I could put myself in any better position than I already have. But I'd, I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't anxious. Dispelling Darkness Metal, an award for one who has conquered the darkness by lighting up every light route. This special item commemorates blessings received. Boom shakalaka. There we have it. And by the way, hello and welcome back to LP. What is going on with the ground? You see that? The ground is like undulating. What is happening over there? That ground is. Oh, it's disturbing. Why is the ground doing this? Why is the ground looking like a waterbed? Truly, Ganon's evil. Knows no bounds. He interrupted my intro. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for the final time. Last episode, like I mentioned, we got prepared. This episode, well, hopefully we will refrain from getting too terribly scared. I don't even know specifically what to expect. As I understand it, the gloom's approach. This is where we're meant to be. My question now becomes whether or not we're going to have like a like a temple-y sort of thing. You know, in past Zelda games, specifically, uh, my mind goes back to Ocarina of Time, where you had Ganondorf's castle that you had to go through before you reached the Demon King himself. I don't know that that's going to be the same case here. But then again, I don't see anything else down here at all, except a fire-like. Hello? No, it's a shock-like. Are you our guide, buddy? The music. Oh, no, it looks like we must go down... Even further. Excuse me, uh, my shocky friends. I would love uh, to give it to you and reach your ends, but that's just not important. Oh, there's a lot of horrible ones, too. How horrible. Guys, I already killed like a million of you like three episodes back. Are you sure you want to be dealing with me right now? I've got all sorts of good weapon and... Ah! My heart! No! I was at full health and now you've squattered that. Yes, beat him senseless, you nobo. Hit them. Smack them around. These cases. Get out of here. Get out of my face. It's very rude of you to be electrocuting someone against their will. All right. It's one thing if I express consent or paid you for an electrical service. It's another entirely for you to tase me, bro. Goodness gracious. Get off my back. Get off my back. I suppose having some extra keys eyeballs never hurt anyone. All right. There's no such thing as too many eyeballs in your pants. What is this? We have a silver Lionel. And then, looks like options? Two options of directions we could go? So where are we? Are we in this sort of area? It looks like we do indeed have something of a, uh, not a gauntlet, but something of a, of a, a temple sort of thing. Let's just, yeah, give it to you. I know, you're very upset. You're very excited to see us. You've heard of all the heinous things we've done to all of your brethren, and you are keen on extracting revenge. Unfortunately, the only revenge you're going to be extracting is, well, zero. <laughs> You'll get no venging. The vengulating will be mine, for I will extrude vengeance upon your backside, just as I've done for all of your friends' hides. Ha-ha! You can't touch me! I'm the gingerbread ham! You silly hoofed friend! 
But I do suppose it doesn't hurt to give us another weapon? Another bow, at the very least. Maybe it'll be a better bow than what we have, but I doubt it. I doubt it. A uh, Savage Lionel bow is exactly as good as the ones we have, but hey, this one's breaking. So that's convenient. This Royal Broadsword. Um, hmm. We have no room for it. I am going to drop this just to see how strong this broadsword is. It's a 17. All right, Silver Lionel Reaper, you're going to stay there, I think? Because you were a 10 fuse with that? This is also a 10 fuse. No, so we'll drop the Los Alphos. We'll take the Silver Lionel Reaper, and then we will fuse with this 17, the Silver Lionel Horn we just got, because that's what he was here for. Was he here to protect Ganondorf, hinder our progress, act as some sort of sentry? No, 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 no. He was simply here to offer us his face horn. He's such a good boy. So very mild-mannered. Up here is one of the two directions we could have chose to go through. The other one, of course, being up there. I'm going to check this one off first because it's... Oh! Hello! Interesting. So that... What is this? Is that the way forward? It's like, it goes down. Normally going down is not going in the right direction. But since we're in the depths, I'd have to imagine it might be. Let's check it out first, just because we're here. We'll drop down and see what this looks like. Um. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, things are falling over here, too. This whole gosh darn castle's falling apart. This doesn't look like a whole lot of anything. All right, well, let's go back. Very interesting. And what's more, we can utilize the power of recall on this baby, can we not? And this can just take us back up, feeling quite hot. We can take the map as well. No, no, no. Not quite what I'm looking for. Recall, baby. Do the opposite of fall. And launch. No, no launch. It's all the same. We'll go over here, and I guess the idea is that, oh, you don't want to climb on the gloom. It'll hurt you. And I see, yeah, right, I'm friggin' insane. I'll climb gloom. Lady, you kidding me? I've climbed nastier surfaces than this. Golly gee willock, or I've climbed walls covered in... Uh, lists of stuff. <laughs> you thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? And you were right. But I didn't. Okay, so this looks like the way to progress. Uh, we went through electric friends, and now we've got frosty foes. I'm just gonna go on by y'all. You don't, you don't mind. Oh, you mind, you sick fools. Don't touch me. One thing, I'm cool enough without you and your frosty farts. Goodness gracious. And down, oh, down Lazalfos Lane. Look at all these guys. They seek to bring us pain, but I say, sorry, boys. I'm insane, so I'm just gonna dive. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. The game has stopped me. What does this mean? Link looks around. What's that? The power of a sage cannot reach you. What? What do you mean the power of a sage cannot reach you? Ah! I've been assaulted! Does it seem my sage friends can't come down here? That! What a twist! What a twist indeed! I saw a weapon over here. Not weapons that I particularly want or need. But hey, just in case. Can you please stop? You silver boy, you gotta hurt someone, all right? You're firing off a weapon like that. What did your mother say, all right? She's not going to be too terribly pleased with you when she finds out that you're dead, son. Jiminy Christmas, see what happens? Had a royal bow, very nice. This is a black one. He's not even any, any stronger than the predecessor. Silver Moblin, there's all sorts of demons going on here. Goodness gracious, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. It's just, oh, I can't, I can't toll and fart. Oh, hi! Is it a phantom? Oh, it is! Oh, it is. Well, you know, I am just tickled pink at the side of you. But, you know, I'm gonna have to kill you. So, I hope that you guys don't mind too terribly much. Uh, really, you should be considering yourself lucky that I'm using my best poker on you. It's something I've been saving. You see, ever since I created it, I knew there would be just a, a quintuple of handy friends. You five there are meeting your untimely ends because of it. Very good. Now, where is your master? Let's go master sword for the master. Phantom Ganon. Again, again. Hello, buddy. Yes, you're very intimidating with your big poker. 
No, it's let's just put it away now. All right, you're gonna you're gonna poke someone's eye out, and then what, huh? You're gonna get sued, buddy. You're gonna get sued. You're gonna cry. You know you don't have enough money to fight a legal battle like that. So let me just put you out of your misery. Thank you. We are taking a healthy amount of gloom damage. Oh, is he still? Okay, he kind of, he was hunched over there for a minute. I was a little bit concerned that perhaps we had a different fight going on and he was going to come back. Lo and behold, that doesn't seem to be the case. What else is down here? We've got a method of ascension right here. I think where that silver moblin was at, it was where we wanted to be or where we wanted to, to go to progress. But I'm wondering if we can't possibly go a different direction or even more no look look at this we can go a different direction but we don't have your no bow and i don't want to waste any of my weapons on this wall golly gee sandwich let's just bomb flower it why not what's through door number one D -d -d door number one it oh door number one door number one's a very very, very deep door. Uh, it's requiring the use of many bombs. Many, many bombs. Um, was this worth it? Survey says... I don't know. Throw rocks in frustration, Link. Very good. I think this just takes us back where that silver moblin was, a.k.a. if we didn't want to rub upon the gloom, we could go this way and rub upon gloom uh, a little less. Stop that. Stop existing. No. Nonsense. Not allowed. I mean, we've already, we've made our choice. I've used so many bombs. The investment has been made. I would just, you know, I got to see it through. <laughs> and I, I don't think I was going to use bombs on Ganon Dingle anyways. At least I hope I wouldn't. You know what? Well, now that I've made my way through here, I just thought of a better idea for continuing on. Yeah, look, there he is. Hi, buddy. I could have just used a Zonai device, huh? I guess I could use one here. Let's do that. We've got plenty, plenty of cannons. I think it'd make some semblance of sense to, I don't know, use them. So, turn on! And then let me just, let me just grab you. There we go. Now why don't you give one to this guy for being such a cutie? Oh, right through his forehead, huh? Oh, you duck, you sick fool. Stop that. Don't duck. That's not allowed. All right, grab this before it does something heinous. Don't you blast me, bro. <laughs> All right, continue working on this. What does this do for us? Um... I don't know that... Oh, God, it's a chest. All right, you can shut off now. Oh, God! No! Stop it! Stop it, buddy. Stop it, please. <laughs> You're gonna kill me! What is the chest? What did we earn for destroying the pile of rubble? Oh, look at that! We made... Did we make a profit? We did. A profit of two bombs. So that was completely worth it. Absolutely 110%. Well, actually, not 110%. Technically, that was closer to... Uh, like 109% since we gained two on top of having 21. But you know, whatever. It's all the it's all the same. This is kind of a neat location. Wait a second. Forgotten found. Is this where we were in the very beginning of the game? Hold on. That little descent seems familiar. Like when with Link and Zelda. I just wanna I'm gonna feel this again. I think this is. I think this is. Like you're walking down here at the very beginning of the game. Link and Zelda. Yeah. I remember I groped that wall. I was spider linking at something fierce. It was amazing. Holy cow! What a fun little tie back. I mean, I, again, not necessarily surprising. Oh, hey, give those. You guys are in need of much electrocution, I think. Yes, very good. Yes, no, I, I just think. Where were you guys? Oh, no. Uh, oh, God. Stop assaulting the hero all right i know it's in your job description and everything but there's no need to be so heinous all right you fool dude you gotta stop hitting the hero all right the hero is gonna get pissed and the hero is gonna take his anger out on who on you oh he speared me like a friggin hog get over here you sick fool what are you thinking huh what is wrong with you I'm trying to let as many of you live as possible just because it's not necessarily worth my time to deal with you. And here you are, being a dungus. Cheechamongus. Well, it looks like this is a job again for Mr. Cannon. Again, we've got nearly two dozen, so why the heck not? And let's lift off and go on through. Oh, there is no more. Don't bomb yourself now. Is there anyone that needs the bomb? 
There's someone that needs a bomb. We have it. <laughs> Anyone needs explosives? Oh, yes. Uh, bomb the priceless artifacts all over the wall, Link. What would Zelda think? Who's to say? Prob I I'd have to hazard a guess that she wouldn't like it, but no one really knows, right? No one can pretend to know. She's not here. She's in the sky because she's a friggin' dragon. Guy? Oh, my. Okay. Please. Please stop it. No! Gosh darn it. <laughs> my own thing is trying to hinder my progress. Can I just... Where are you at? Okay. Well. It was a little unorthodox, but it worked. And down here is where we saw Gan and Dingle. I do believe. Uh, I should probably heal. I'll just wait till, like, the fight starts proper. Then I can heal. Where is he? Suavemente? Hola. No? The whole thing is gone. I feel like it was right there. Maybe he has sunk down below. Oh, goodness, people. Here we go. Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, like, anxious and tingly and... Delaying the inevitable. Let's do it. Let's do it, buddy. How deep can you go? How deep to the center of the juicy, chewy gloom layer? How many licks does it take? There's something. At least this many. Um. Okay. He's not down here. There's a torch, though. Thanks for that, I suppose. No thanks. I guess I don't... I mean, I don't need the torch, right? I've got bright bloom seeds. I've got the power of plants at my side. Flames? No. Unnecessary plants are my best friends now. Where are we at on the map? We are still not, like, over to whatever this is. I don't know what all this is, but I thought slash think that's what we're getting to. Anyone's guess? Anyone's guess? Entirely. We continue to make progress ever deeper into the deepest, darkest bowels of the earth here. Looks like we are going even deeper. We've got a diving platform here. Oh. What is going on down there? Um, I know the game's like, hey, you should... You should jump! You see this endless abyss? Dive. Truly, they're looking after our best interests. But why don't we just... I don't know. Turn on a, a few streetlights. Oh, God. Endless Abyss is absolutely right. Um. Well, bye. <laughs> oh, man. It would seem that... We can't reach the bottom. Let's just dive. How about it? And the game wouldn't screw... Oh, there's like tree roots and stuff down here. What is all this? Is that like the embodiment of evil, of gloom, manifesting itself physically? And then what is that? What is this heinous contraption? Manifestation? It looks like an accursed tree of some sort. But oh my goodness, we get a cut scene to tell us at least a little something. Oh, we get challenged. By, by, by Bokos. Oh, you poor things. I'm so sorry that you guys have to be brought into this. Yeah, no, I mean, you're very, you're very moist, you're covered with red stuff, but it's not gonna help you. Hey, the sages are here now! Yay! Except it's their physical forms, not their spirit ones. I wondered if that would happen. I thought it was kind of strange that they like, nope, they can't come with you anymore. Very good. Well, I don't necessarily know how, how, how necessary you guys are. But I appreciate any and all help altogether, right? Because what is, you know, the great triumph over evil if you can't share it with friends? Is it truly as much fun slaying your enemies if you do it alone? No! Just like barbecues and birthday parties, killing is equally fun, if not more so, in large numbers. Even if one of your numbers is still technically a spirit. All right, Minero. Well, the gang's all here. Let's let's go forth without fear. I'm gonna launch a bomb arrow right away. This uh, yep. Good night, sweet princes. More bombs for y'all, buddies. Ha ha! You guys get bombed, we? Just everyone, 
Bombs galore! And what's more, what for? Oh, don't be a bore. You're going to get more and more. You will be sore. All right, that's probably plenty, right? Well, no, it's not. Look how many there are. There's so many. They're howling over here. Why are you guys howling? Stop howling. It's very... It's unbecoming of a gentleman of your stature. All right, howling and arrows. No. Fella? Get out of here. Why are the, uh... The sages not attacking them? The sages are just running around with me. <laughs> they clearly lack any initiative at all. Stop that. And you, big beefy. Get on the floor. So that I may walk your dinosaur. This is the Demon King's army. The war in the depths of Hyrule. Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? Or, well, Ganondorf, excuse me. I'm getting my, getting my fantasies mixed up. So first we faced a wave of Bokos. Now it's a wave of Lizalfos. I see. But given the HP situation, I can't imagine that we're going to be facing too many waves of other creatures. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Sidon. <laughs> I just gave Sidon the old bomble schmomble. Goodness me. Get y'all out of here. Who's left? You're left. We're not taking... No, that didn't... That did not extract all that much HP, so there will be a phase of moblins, I'd have to guess. Okay. That's fine. We can handle it. Proving ourselves very capable. Oh, no! A, a wave of... Of Gibdos. How disturbing. You know, this would be a great, great, great time if I had an electric weapon. But, alas, all I have is Reju. So, all of you Gibdos, get together now, please. That's pretty... That's pretty good. There we go. All right, this is no, 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 no. We need, we need this one. This will be better. There we go. Just, uh, I'd love to wait for Reju to read you charge, but extraordinarily quicker. All right, where are you at, Reju? I can do you one more time. Reju, Reju, where are you? <laughs> Reju is getting vomited on. Stop that, you sick fool. Gotcha. One more. What am I? I'll just use the shock fruit. My savage Lionel bow is almost broken. Oh my goodness. Well, it's a good thing I've got like seven more. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we prepared as well as we did. I did not expect to face this many enemies, really. I expected to come down here and, you know, smack Ganondorf right in his Piggly Wiggly. Lo and behold, he's got all sorts of friends. There goes my bow. I'll move on to the next one. Why don't we use the Royal Guard's bow just so we can... You know, save the really good ones. I'm gonna give, uh, ooh. I'm gonna give everyone a, everyone a nice freezy pop. Everyone just chill out, how about, huh? No, don't you come smack the hero. Oh, you smack the hero from the behind. How positively unsportsmanlike of you. Let's get these guys over here. They look like they need some, some chillaxing. They're very high strung. They've been doing their taxes lately and they're behind. All right, they have some unreported income and the government's gonna come get it. All right, Princess Zelda, a good lady, but gosh darn it, she wants her tax bus. Where's, where, who survives? How dare you, stop that. All right, so that is it. That was the, the full depletion of the health bar. So no Lynels or Gleox or anything like that. Yet, I guess we'll see, things are changing rapidly. The way has burst open. That gloom, it means but one thing, the Demon King is there. Huh? Are you sure? Are you convinced? Oh, Colgara! Interesting. Oh, and the, and, oh, oh, it's all of these. Oh, my. Oh. What? All at once? Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Or watch, they're each going to take one and we don't have to do it. It's going to be similar to Breath of the Wild. Yeah, like the, uh, the, the blights, the Ganon blights, how each one of the, uh, each one of the sages took care of one. Okay. Well, that's, that's still cool in its own right. So that's the benefit to getting all of these sages, right? Like, you could theoretically come down here prior in the game before having done all the temples and you would presumably have to fight all of these enemies here, which would... Ooh, that would be tough. Back to back to back. Um, really, most of them would be easy, but I think the corrupted construct is pretty difficult. Gloom's origin. Where the heck am I? What? Where did I come from? Did I come from this way? <laughs> I didn't even get to walk in there. Uh, this is a hallway. So I'm keen on seeing, like, what... What's at the end of this? 
Um. What now? Well, I guess this is the right way. Okay, yeah, it was. What was the other way? Who's to say? I got no idea. Either which way. <laughs> we get a uh, a pretty ominous cutscene here. How disappointing. You didn't get what you wanted this for your birthday? World should be shrouded in darkness, not bathed in insufferable light. All these weak, peace-loving cowards running rampant. It would have been more satisfying to overcome a worthy foe. How rude! Friggin' eyes of Sauron there. Yeah, quite like Jiminy Christmas. Terrifying. Looks like Link isn't the only one with a special right hand. You know what I'm saying? Ganondingle's got the old sprinkle mingle in his, uh, in his good hand there. Oh, he got the cherry-flavored whirlwind. I don't think that's great for us. Oh, he's got muscles now. Look at that. I was wondering. Oh, like he'd be looking decrepit. Where's, where's hot Ganondorf, all right? There he is. Look at some calves. That man walked to school five miles uphill both ways to get those calves. And those traps, those back muscles, that's right. He carried a friggin' cow the whole way, too. Regardless, I will reshape this world as it was meant to be. He's kind of built like a cow, actually. Very wide torso. Muscular. But wide. Cowdorf! The menace unleashed. Demon King Ganondorf. All right, Guadalajara, we gonna smack you. Right quickly, I'm gonna shoot that friggin' gemstone right off your forehead. But first, I need to eat. <laughs> I do need to, to de-gloomify myself. Got a sweet sword. You witness a king's revival. And the birth of his new world. Well, it certainly has been gestating a long time, but sorry to say, buddy, that new world is a stillbirth. It ain't happening. I got the Master Sword. Oh, and we're, we're fighting, we're fighting. Holy cow, hold on. Oh, let me just, uh, let me, uh. <laughs> It's like, oh, hi, great, King of Evils. Uh, I'm gonna have a salad real quick. Is that, do you want some? I didn't, I mean, I brought, I brought some extra, but I gotta I just wash it down with some mushrooms real quick. Okay, you sure? I got some bananas. No, all right, well, I'm just gonna, there we go. Ow, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay, he, he'd be fast. Ow! He'd be fast and he'd be strong. We got a good hit on him, though. Okay, I am not completely... Oh, you be glooming the ground, you sick munchkin. What are you doing? I am not completely tuned into the action command here. We'll get at least one flurry rush on this guy. Even if we have to just keep smacking him like this, I think we'll be all right. But I'd like to... Oh, you got a battle axe now. Come here. Oh, that, that kind of worked. And that destroyed my shield. Very good. How kind of you. You know, not like I only have friggin' six of them. Oh, he flurry rushes too? What was that? What was that? That was terrifying. <laughs> At least he didn't start hitting me. Can I shoot you in the face? I can. Can I do it again? I can. Can I just keep doing that? I'm gonna shoot that thing right off your forehead. You don't need it, do you? Yeah, just, just keep... Yeah, too weak? You'll say that's weak when you've got like 30 arrows stuck in your friggin' cranium, huh? Gosh darn dartboard. I'm gonna make a pin cushion out of your ginormous friggin' face, all right? That thing's bigger than a basketball. And it's perfect target practice. Barely, dude, you're almost dead. Let me just do it like this. Yeah, aha! So phase one, son. Yeah, you didn't like that, huh? He's got like 27 arrows stuck out of his face. <laughs> what a feeling. What, acupuncture, huh? Thrill of battle. That feeling as blood surges in my veins. And out of your face. I am not even near the limits of my power. Uh, 
Oh, oh, he's gone friggin' Super Saiyan. Wow, look at that. He's evil. He's terrible. Awful character. I mean, he looks pretty cool. I gotta admit. This is a really cool form of Ganondorf. Holy cow. I love what they did here. Well done, Nintendo. Oh, no. I only have two legs. You can't take those, too. I'm gonna just... Oh, look how big his health bar is. His health bar is going off the screen. Jiminy Christmas. And he's got special... Special boys with him. Stop that. No. Ow. Yeah, the, the special Phantom Ganons are not necessarily the most helpful thing in the world. Chickamongus. Uh, but we're doing okay. Can I kill these dudes? They do have health bars. Let's get rid of a couple of these guys first. Just so that... You want to run from me now? Ow. Ow, fine. Well, if you're not going to be up on my friggin' business, I'm just going to deal with your master here. Because that's the dude that actually matters. Let's just keep jumping. Jumping. Wee! <laughs> Wee! Wee! When can we get a flurry rush? Do a backflip, Link. Oh my... He pretty, he pretty talented. Yeah, he, he do be the demon king and all. But he'd be doing a little bit more than I expected. I guess we're hitting this guy. Get rid of you. Woo! Holy cow, that was fast! Let me just slap you right in your butt now that you're, you're stuck in the wall. You don't mind me, do you? <laughs> oh, these dudes are almost dead. The, uh, the sages are doing pretty well with them, but I figured I'd help them out a little bit. I'm gonna need to eat another salad. Delicious. We still have attack up for... Oh, wait, why is my... I thought the attack up was for four minutes. The math is not mathing. Here, hold on. We eat the simmered fruit, attack up for four minutes, ten seconds. I have six minutes and 42 seconds left. How? Are we going backwards? What? <laughs> Did I have more there and I just didn't know it? Very strange. Either which way. All right. Gosh darn it. I cannot get the flurry rush here. Let me just get the flurry rush. Ugh. No flurry rush. Flurry rushes are illegal, apparently. We've got him halfway down, though. Come on, Ganon Dingle. You know you want to let me flurry rush you, son. It would be so good for you. It would be good for you. Fine. Let me just make you another pin cushion. Oh. We didn't get him all the way down, though, but it looks like something is changing in terms of the fight. Maybe that was the end of the Phantom Ganons. And he's very unhappy. He's like, oh, my friends are gone. What'd you do? I gotta make more. No, he's killing them himself. He's gonna re replenish health with them, isn't he? Well, it's a good thing we killed a few of them then, if that's the case. Is it the case? They'll tell us, right? Don't gesture at me like that. You don't know me. Um... I think he may have replenished some health. But I don't... I don't know. Uh, the sages are gone. He is unleashing... What are those? What are those? They're chasing me. They hurt me. <laughs> Big demon juice balls flying through the air. Get him. No, let's not do a flurry rush, please. Can I... Can I just get a flurry rush of you? Let's not. Let's, let's not. You be shooting those big nasty pustules at me. Not very friendly. Not very neighborly of you. All right. Guillermo. Guadalajara. Oh, God. Uh, avoid. Avoid the pustules. Ah! It's fine. We're doing okay. All things considered. He's very talented with the acrobatics, though. Ouch. Which is not something I'm used to. Normally, my enemies just kind of flounder about. Run! Holy cow. <laughs> just a few more hits on this guy. Just a few more hits here. Oh, God. The juice balls. Oh god, Yunobo's dead. Yunobo's carcass. Can I can I take his sword? He doesn't need it, does he? We can't we can't harvest the bodies of our dead comrades? Well, what the heck? I could use like another whole bird that in Tolan or something. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. No, I'm not I'm not serious. There we go. Let's just let's get you, buddy. Come here, Ganon Dingle. I'm getting slapped around. Something fierce here. Please refrain from any more acrobatics. Gosh darn it. You've got but a sliver of health left. You know that, buddy. I can't get a good hit on him. He is too acrobatic. Ugh. The only time I can hit him are the bows. Ah! But I want to get another good hit here. 
There we go. Ha ha! Slapped right in the piggly wiggly. Didn't feel too good, did it? You horny bugger. So is that it then? Or is there a third phase? The way that he writhes in agony leads me to believe that there is indeed another phase. You know, you, you, you don't writhe that much when you're still dead. When you're alive, yes. Have you seen how many friggin' lizards are in my pants? You tell me a mortal. Oh, God. Well, he ripped the gem off his face himself. I was gonna do that to you. Well, call him what you will. You can never say that he's not determined. He's, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. He's going to turn into a dragon then, isn't he? Like Zelda did. What? No. No. Or is he going to turn into something else entirely? Either way, he's going to transform. He ate the stone. That is bonkers. That is, oh, goodness me. I did not see that coming. He is a dragon. He looks like Calamity Ganon in a way. Crazy. We gotta fight that? How am I gonna fight that? I'm fighting things with swords and stuff, all right? That's gosh darn Satan. Incarnated, quite literally this time. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not completely certain. Uh, maybe we enlist the help of, of Zelda, the light dragon. And we get a, like, commandeer here. We grab her by the horns and we, like, ram him to him rally car style. And he's kicking him and stuff and poking him right in his little lizard spleen. Whatever organs he got going on now. I don't know how much, you know, his anatomy changed clearly, but whether or not he's got like a gizzard or stuff like that, or maybe like an extra pair of kidneys or something, uh, either which way, he's needing a very, very long break as the game loads however many organs he has. Clearly his organs are numerous, given the fact that that screen took like 16 seconds to bring us here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's not something you want to see. All right. You're waking up in high, bro, like, oh, what's the weather like? Oh. Mmm, cloudy with a chance of Satan. I want to go back to bed. <laughs> Honey, cancel our plans. All right, bring 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 the kids. We need to we need to say goodbye. That is terrifying. Look at those eyes. Holy moly! Wow. Great. Can I harvest his parts? Can I get like demon dragon scales and teeth? Look at all the horns. That's the horniest evil dude I've ever seen. That's not something you ever want to see. What is that? Well, that's me. <laughs> I'm in the mouth. What am I doing in there? Uh, that's, not a, that's not a great spot to be. Zelda! There we go. I knew it. She's going to help in some capacity, or is that just the end? And we just get like this sort of cool cutscene thing. Nice maneuvering, Zelda. You see, Zelda's been an immortal dragon for longer than Ganondorf has. So she, she's got all the, all the sick talents. Ganondorf's probably like a little clumsy still, or at least he better be, right? You don't get used to being a serpent immediately. I get it. He's evil. He's been writhing about in piss and vinegar for his entire life. But that's no reason why he should be this fluent in lizarding. Gosh darn it. No matter how cool he looks. Like, why is his sacred stone better? Why is he cutting us off? Why is he faster than Zoral, though? Zelda. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to kill him. <laughs> He's huge, too! What is that? Perhaps it takes some semblance of uh, influence from their human state, or their Hylian state, or Gerudo state, for Ganondorf specifically. I mean, he was quite a specimen. Like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's like 6'7", 300 pounds. Let's get it. Let's eliminate it. My sword's no longer glowing. Okay, now it is. I was like, hmm. So I... I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, though, is the thing. Um, I cannot pull out my arrow. I cannot... Oh, I can jump! I can... I jumped. Well, see you later, Zelda. <laughs> I'm going on to the, the dragon, I guess. Oh, God, Zelda's moving fast. 
I don't have the power of the sages. Do I even have a bow? Let's just let's let's eat some food, why don't we? Let's 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 have a nice little mighty simmered fruit. I think that'd be nice. Zelda's like way down there. Can I just give you a blasting? Does that hurt you? It didn't seem like that hurt you. Do we need to hit you in a specific spot. Do we need to hit you right in your nasty little eyeball? Oh, we are not close enough to do that. Okay. It's alright, man. Oh god, I've been I've been I've been assaulted. Golly gee willicker. Uh we uh, can't even see. Are we close enough now? We're close enough, but that didn't do anything. I'm gonna get on you now. What is this? Alright, I am on the Demon King. It hurts me. Um. Oh, he's got things. What are these? You see these? There's like little glowing spots. With eyeballs. Oh, sick. <laughs> what is that? Is this one here as well? It's a little bit inconvenient that we are suffering just by touching him. It's gonna make it somewhat difficult. I'm glad that I have so many like sunny fried greens. Let's go down here and get this first eyeball. Gross. That's just... Yeah, get rid of y'all. You... Oh, wow. Can we get down in there and just smack it? Oh, that's what we need to do. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, let me get on you. Oh, God. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. You're moving too fast. Get out. Okay, I would like to be on top of you, Ganondorf, if at all possible. Um, where are you going, buddy? I need to, I need to be on your body. You're, you're a little bit too high up for me. I cannot, I cannot do that. Oh, I'm on Zelda. Hi, Zelda. Thank you. Now let me get off. Where's his, his nastiness once more? I see, there's none back here, right? Okay, so there's just three left that I can see. Perhaps there's one closer to his head as well. And I guess that's going to be what we're meant to do. Just go and assault these things. It's nice that we're out in the sun, too. I didn't even think of that. We don't retain the gloom damage. Uh, while it is sucking away our hearts, those uh, X'd out hearts come back immediately, and then we just have to worry about, like, healing. Which we do have plenty of healing stuff for, so... All together, just fine. As long as we can get over to these, like, soft spots before he bucks us off or something. Which I'm not necessarily certain he will. But I'd rather not like to, to test that out. Alright, is there any chance we can get a second one? No, he moves too fast. He's the fastest demon alive! Um. Uh, oh god. Okay, I was hoping maybe I could... I'm bouncing off him. Okay, ouch. Ow, ow! Oh god. Well, that was something, wasn't it? Where's Zelda? Zelda, I need you. Zel Zelda, please, I need you to, to get me a little higher, please. I need to get up there. <laughs> I need you! Zelda, help me! Is there a way to call Zelda? Um. Hmm. I'm just gonna drop. Okay, well that worked. I don't know if that was just lucky, or what, but dropping absolutely doodled the dandy. So let's go to the furthest one. I mean, there are only two that I can see. Judging by how much damage the first two we did, uh, it doesn't it doesn't seem like those are going to be the last two. There's going to be at least one more beyond them. Probably this dude's face will open up or something. You get the most unholy blackhead anyone's ever seen. The most disturbing cold sore. A demonic cold sore, in fact. Oh, why, why is... It, why, why you be pulsating like that? I don't like the pulsating. The pulsating should probably be kept to a minimum, if at all possible. All right, where? Get this. Can I get this? Can I get this? Can I just get it over there? Make it rain on his pustules. I feel like, oh, it did hit it. It did hit it. It doesn't do very much damage though, which is probably by design. The game probably wants you to specifically go after it. Zelda, Zelda, I need you to Zelda me, please. Thank you. <laughs> I was about to plummet, girl. The game probably doesn't want you to be able to, uh, to cheese it with the bow, so to speak, so. That's fine with me. Uh, excuse me there, demonic stuff. I need to go over to this little pustule, please, and thank you. It's got my name all over it. And it says, Link! Please pop me! And I said, okay, I can do that. I'm very good. At the popping of demonic pustules, you can ask all the taluses about my powers. My talents, my struggles, in some instances, of destroying said pustules. But thankfully, we have not had the same struggles here. We are, however, struggling slightly with health. So 
why oh we are we're out of attack up too so why don't we just do that and then we'll have an omelet you know there's nothing nothing helps propel you to victory over demonic foe like sucking down eggs in the middle of the air truly all right really i know i mentioned a number of things but if you're fighting some dude and he's tumbling through the air shoveling eggs down his throat you've already lost you have already lost and you've lost too, Demon Dragon, the Draconified Demon King, because as soon as we pop this little pimple of yours, I'm sure the next vacancy or the next weak spot of yours will be seen. Where is it? Show me. Show me the weak spot. Oh, it's his forehead. Look at his forehead, how it glows, and the entirety of the map has changed now too. Like everything is so red and angry. As if symbolizing, oh. Whoa there, Nelly. Goodness gracious. Oh. Can we get that? Am I gonna get... Am I high enough? I guess I am. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're past it. Uh, target? Target and hit. Boom shakalaka. That is it. That is it. That has gotta be it. Holy cow. Super cool. A very unique boss fight. Uh, unlike any other Zelda boss fight I've ever experienced. Now... Ganondorf here is somewhat reminiscent of Volvagia from Ocarina of Time. But instead of, like, popping up out of the ground, this dude's just completely skyborne. Uh, final attack. Wow. Wow. It all comes down to that. Oh. A very, a very cool version of Ganondorf. Probably my favorite yet. And a very fitting... Uh, very exciting boss fight to wrap it up. <clears throat> they did him justice, for certain. It has been a long time since Ganondorf was back, actually, as the full-fledged villain in a Zelda game. Not since the Twilight Princess game. I was going to say Wind Waker, but he was actually there in Twilight Princess as well. And they did so well. Great job, Nintendo. Great freaking job. Oh, God. He's bleeding. <laughs> He's spraying out lemonade out of his forehead. And gosh darn pomegranate juice out of his back. That's a bad time. All right, I know all about that. College, am I right? Goodness me. So one of my questions that I've had for a long time now is whether or not doing this, quelling the beast, solving the great problem the world had, does it help Zelda? I really hope so. I really hope Zelda is not perpetually sacrificed and just continually existing as a light dragon. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he was smote. All right. Hylia, the goddess, was like, Pew! see you later. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Ain't nothing sweet about him, that's for sure. But he is gone. Destroy Ganondorf complete. So do we get to just keep playing, or is it going to roll credits? Oh, got so many questions. <laughs> only time will tell. Only time will tell. Be patient, LP. I know it's not a uh, something that I ordinarily have much luck with. We lose our arm. Do we go to having a nub? Because our arm was destroyed and it was replaced by Raru's. Whoa! We're naked. What's the meaning of this? <laughs> Did we die? <gasps> oh, I th we're doing it. I think we're healing Zelda. We're going to bring her back. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it, it would, the adventure wouldn't feel complete. It really wouldn't. It wouldn't be the happiest ending it could be. And gosh darn it, I thrive off of happy endings. I positively adore them, all right? It needs to be a perfectly Disney-esque wrap-up with everyone taken care of. The question is, so does Link, does Link get the arm or what? Like, or is he just like using arm powers here? It's dissolving his arm and it's going to go into Zelda and then that's going to be it. Those we'll have to see. Raru and Sonia helping him out as well. 
with, with their spirits. Is that actually helping, or is that just a a show of of helping? Standing in solidarity with their friend like that. Hmm. There she is. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I mean, I can, really, because it is Zelda, after all. You can't have the legend of and then just nothing, right? <laughs> it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. But as for specifically what this means, I'm curious because there will be endgame play, right? You could still continue to play. Will it force us to reload a save prior? Or will it pick up and Zelda will be, like, out and about? No more Light Dragon. Ooh. It's an interesting thought now, isn't it? Hmm. Oh god, Link's dying. No! Falling into another hundred-year-long slumber. He's a sleepy lad. But gosh darn it, can you blame him? 252 episodes, he hasn't slept a wink. Oh, he better wake up from whatever trance that was, because he'd be falling. Zelda falling too? Zelda's falling too. My god, I love it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, we're in control now. So what, we could just, like, let her bounce off the ground? Probably don't want to do that. She is falling markedly... Slower than we are. We Don't worry, Zelda! We're coming! Where are we on the map? Oh, we can't map. We cannot map. I wonder if we drug this out, if she would just, like, stop at a certain point. Like, I can't pull out my glider anyway, so presumably we will catch her no matter what. Let's see if we can just hero size ourselves and get down there a little quicker. We're here to save you, Zelda! Wait, now she's falling a little faster. We're picking up even slower. What is the meaning of this? Grab her, Link! Reach! Super cool. Grab, hold. <laughs> it says hold. I'm holding it. I like the action commands. It's fun. It makes you feel like you're part of the cutscene, more so. I mean, I know it's uh, it's largely irrelevant, but I enjoy it. It reminds me, in a way, of like Resident Evil. Hey, we're gonna fall into the same lake that I missed in episode, like, 10! I bounced off the ground right next to it, and I died. It was great. <laughs> uh, good thing that didn't actually happen. Otherwise, this adventure would have taken a sharp turn. Zelda would never have been rescued. Ah, oh, and peace returns to the land of Hyrule. As it should be. Beautiful. It really is. I mean, the whole game is beautiful. But this is a this is a beautiful. Link, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gesture, gesture. You were a dragon for like a thousand years. Or more, probably like 10,000 years. And yep, Fee is still there. After all. If you are, then it's a good dream. Oh, Link, you really did it. Oh, goodness. Why is this making me emotional? <laughs> uh, that brings a tear to my eye. That was really powerful. Goodness. No. I understand. I had been sleeping all this time. I love the Zelda's lullaby playing in the background. When I felt something, like a warm, loving embrace, I woke up. Hmm. 
There's no more gloom on the castle. It's just ominously floating now. Thank you. You're very welcome. Link, I met such wonderful people. I saw Hyrule as it was. I have so much to tell you. So much happened. Girl, you don't even know. Link, I'm home. I harvested like 60 acorns. Oh, man. Find Princess Zelda complete. Perfect. Absolutely freaking lutely perfect. Oh, and roll credits? And roll credits. The Legend of Zelda. That's it. That is it. That is the, the full... The full adventure. What a great freaking game, huh? Like, what do you think? I think that was phenomenal. My favorite Zelda game, bar none. I've played pretty much every single Zelda game. I consider Zelda my favorite franchise out of not just Nintendo games, but gaming as a whole. And this, this was the best one. Best one yet. They did a fan-freaking-tastic job. I can't wait to see what's next. Really. Like, uh... I, I know it's probably not right to, to stop savoring this one, but now that it's over, my mind immediately turns to what is coming. Because it's going to be so hard to top this, right? Not just, you know, one part of this adventure was great. The story, amazing. Even the sound, excellent. The soundtrack, right? The characters, the plot, the pacing, all of the new techniques and abilities that you got throughout the game. The temples, while still not, you know, the classic Zelda temple of old, a definite step up from Breath of the Wild, and that's what Tears of the Kingdom was. A very natural, very progressive step up, step forward, improvement over its predecessor. So good. So good! <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Nintendo. All of these people scrolling on the screen, all these people that came together to work to create this masterpiece deserve not one, not two, but... Three rounds of applauses. And so do you guys for watching. I'd like to show a special shout out to JJ Cat and Cal Ikauche, uh, two of the most supportive patrons and YouTube members uh, going on several months now, as well as all the other patrons and YouTube members who have supported it during the series, of which there has been, you know, a couple dozen. So thank you. And also a thank you to all of the commenters. Uh, and many of you have commented on nearly every video making this a part of your, you know, your daily live for almost the last year is nothing short of incredible. And speaking of that, you know, a thank you then in general to the 25,000 unique people who watched at least one episode and then the 5,000 people who watched at least two. All right, that's a ton of people uh, coming wherever on the internet to watch me play this masterpiece of a game. So thank you. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. I really do. It's my goal one to have a ton of fun playing my favorite games. <laughs> but number two, it's my goal uh, to provide to you an accurate playthrough of the game and an entertaining playthrough of the game and commentary over the top of that. And I hope that I was able to provide that for you. Uh, you know, it, Let's Plays, whatever, just kind of a niche sort of medium. But it's something that I'm really passionate about, something I really enjoy doing, specifically Nintendo Let's Plays, and I'm going to continue doing it all forever. <laughs> and I hope I get to continue to see you then. The next Let's Play series is not going to start tomorrow, all right? We're going to take a couple of days off for the weekend, but it will pick back up with daily uploads on Monday. I'm not going to spoil for you what the series will be, but it's highly regarded as one of Nintendo's best games, and it's a game that I've never actually beaten, so I'm excited to pick that up for you on... Oh, shoot, what, what day of the month would that be? Uh, Monday. The, uh, so if today is the 19th, 2020, the 22nd of January at 3 p.m., the next series starts. But moving back to this series, for any of you, any of you watching this, this could be your first video, this could be your 252nd video. I want to again reiterate a thank you. And then a question too. What number video is this for you? Did you watch the entire series? Did you pick it up partway through? Did you find the series organically? Or did you pick it up off of, like, a short or an Instagram reel or even, oh goodness me, a TikTok 
or all sorts of other things that I have out there in an effort to uh, to kind of support this channel and bring people's awareness to it. Because yeah, you know, Let's Plays are not necessarily something that the algorithm favors, so it's kind of difficult to, uh, to one, it's difficult to find a decent Let's Play, which I hope this has been. But number two, it's difficult as a Let's Play channel well, to bring people in. So however you did find the channel and this Let's Play specifically, I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear perhaps what your favorite experience was. Uh, did you have a favorite episode? Did you have a favorite uh, arc, so to speak? Did you have a favorite moment? And as a whole, please let me know what you thought of the series. Because as I mentioned a few moments ago, it is my ultimate goal here to provide an entertaining playthrough of the game without being, you know, over the top or anything. I try to make sure my reactions and my opinions are, well, whatever the heck comes to my mind. Uh, I, I don't apply a filter and I just don't shut up because that's just kind of how I exist in everyday life. <laughs> Anyways, I want to know your your experience, right? Your opinion on the series as a whole. I hope it was a good one because for me, it was a great one. Like I mentioned, this was this is my favorite Zelda game. It is easily catapulted itself up over the predecessors, but it's also been my favorite Let's Play, which is a little bit interesting too, because ordinarily, and I've talked to other creators, when you when you have a series this long, right, over 200 episodes, over 250 episodes, uh, some people say that it can get quite draining, right? It's like, okay, I'm doing the same thing every single day, but not me. I'm I'm sad that it's over. I am. It, uh, it, it, it was a daily part of your life, right? For the greater part of the last eight months, it was a daily part of my life as well. And it's like turning a whole new page over to something else entirely with that wrapping up. But, again, there will be more, and we can all take the memories and the times that we shared here and have those forever. Because for my part, my absolute favorite series. My favorite part was probably the arc of Princess Zelda. Like, that crap was so emotional, her sacrificing herself to transform into dragon. Obviously, she has been, you know, resuscitated or revived or able to regain her highly in form. But there was a period of time where we didn't know that that would be the case. And she certainly didn't know that that would be the case, considering how Miniru had pitched taking the Sacred Stone to her. So that would be probably my favorite part from, like, a, a game story perspective. Uh, I absolutely loved Ganondorf's version. I mentioned that a number of times today already but he is just the perfect Zelda villain. I know that Ganon is more synonymous with Zelda villainy, but Ganondorf, I don't know. Maybe it's the like Ocarina of Time nostalgia I have, but still, those two things, my favorite story parts. As far as like the Let's Play, <laughs> I think I had the most fun flying around looking for light roots and shrines. I uh, got into all sorts of wild hijinks, and I annoyed myself at least a few times. I probably annoyed you too, so hey, thanks for sticking with me. And there will be more, there will be more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I suppose I should clarify that. Uh, just because this is the end of the Let's Play does not mean that this is going to be the last time that I play this game. It's not going to be the last time that I play this game on this channel, specifically. It probably is the last time that I do, like, an episodic thing like this, but uh, I, I very likely will stream the game at some point. Uh, just doing random one-off stuff. I did the one stream for harvesting materials last week, and that went well. People enjoyed it. So I think I'd like to do that again. Please let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And number two, of course, I probably will still put out some shorts from this series. So even more specifically, if you have specific moments like I asked for earlier, I very likely could turn those into shorts, and that would be, that would be fun. Additionally, I will probably be using footage and clips from this entire series in other projects. As you know, on Sundays, I've been putting out the Sunday specials as a supplement to the Let's Play stuff, and uh, there's gonna be so much more Zelda talk. So much more Zelda talk. I mean, it's my favorite franchise, right? Gosh darn it. Can you fault me for continuing to produce uh, Zelda content? It's kind of, uh, well, how do I put this? If I could retire, if I could quit my corporate job, Instead of doing this like three or four hours every single day, I would do it like eight to ten hours every single day. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll get to that. Uh, obviously, I am still very much a small, a small Let's Player, a small YouTuber, so that day is yet in the future. But I trust that I'll get there eventually, and it'll be due in no small part to your contributions. All right? Just by watching this, by liking it, by commenting on it, by sharing it, by being involved in any capacity... You are making it happen. So while these credits are rolling for the game, credits could be rolling 
with all the viewers. You know, I mentioned 25,000 unique people watch this. That's the credits. Of course, I don't have access to that data, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? So uh, a, a big, a bi not, a, not a big pat on the back, but a big, a big, a round of applause, really, I suppose is the best way to put it. A round of applause to you. I've mentioned how I do this for fun, how this is exactly what I would want to do if I, if I had, you know, infinite free time. But really, I do do it for you. So again, thank you for giving me that opportunity. Thank you so very much for watching this. Thank you for participating for the last eight months. Thank you for being a Nintendo fan, for being a Zelda fan, for being an LP fan, and for being, quite possibly, a decent person. I don't know how much longer these credits are going to roll, and I'm trying to commentate over them, but really, the only thing that comes back time and time again is that I'm thankful. Eternally thankful. And excited for what's to come. So this has been LP. I play Nintendo games, and I talk a lot. If you're into that, you're probably watching. If you're still watching, that's amazing. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you next time. Oh, but there's more. The spirit of Miniru. Guiding Zelda, Link, Riju, Sidon, Yunobo, Tolan, Pura, all the sages plus Pura. <laughs> such an impressive landmass can float in the sky. Just when I thought I'd started to figure the zone eye out. I mean, really, how can you hope to figure out an ancient civilization that quickly? Come now, Pura. You're a genius, but you're not friggin' amazing like that. Everyone, I am glad I was able to bring you all here. I wanted to share this view of Hyrule with all of you. Whoa, I've never been this far up before, Goro. Wow, what a sight it is. And Zelda. You were roaming the skies all along? Yes, although I don't really remember. I never thought I would actually stand here again. This is only a theory, but... Raru's power of light, and Sonya's time power. For Zelda to transform back, they both must have channeled their abilities through you, Link. They did. I saw it. It was very nice of them. I see. Now it seems it is my time. Minoru! Do not worry. You have overcome the burden my era left to you. You have proven yourself, and you no longer need me. I know I can move on, join Raru and the others, and the world will be safe. Just grunts all around. I wish I could communicate by grunting. Gather here. Swear on our lives to support Princess They'd be making the pledge, just like their ancestors. Ravu and Sonia will be happy to hear of this. But Minoru... I mean, she's ancient. You can't expect her to stick around, Zelda. Come on now, she gotta sleep. Just how much you care.
Oh god. <laughs> Someone gonna clean that up? Okay, oh yeah. King Rara. Queen Sonia. Minera. The ancient sages. They wished not only to save Hyrule from the Demon King, but for it to see eternal peace. I will dedicate myself to that goal. Now, and for all time. My friends, with all of your strength, Stand with me. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well done. Well presented. And well played. 10 out of 10. Would play again.